Yeah, but the deal is, is what does this mean for people that in their that are in their 60s? You know, they're 70. See, this information is coming out, and they've been living um, a radio, television body, chemical body existence, and all of a sudden it's like, dude, didn't you know that this is your creation? Da da da. You know. Um, just like uh, with Tony, uh, he's lived with this. This information comes out. He's like, but you know, but hold it. I have something so embedded in my chemical body, um, and, and I don't know how to juggle these other uh, technologies in this landscape. Um, it seems like I don't know if if, if the um, the great minds had been saying this all along, and we just haven't had to decode it until you've decoded it like this. But it yeah. seems to really cheat some people out of being able to, unless this is, unless you're saying that this new astral knowledge should be able to right any wrongs in the chemical body. Yes, and two points. The Evergreens used to say, yes, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. <laughs> okay? And that's a true factor. We know enough truth nowadays. been through so many changes in the information environment. People recognize the wisdom behind that. Because there's not one person in the United States who hasn't been upset by something because there's been so many changes on so many rapid levels the last 40 years, right? Right, right, right. Okay. The uh, second point is that ION and the Astros don't care. <laughs> they don't care what we create. They shed no tears for what we're doing because when we die, we go back to the bliss. So more power to the old people who are going to die sooner than us. They're going to get the bliss. I'm just a pervert. I'm staying here and I'm going to bring the bliss back to here. But, this, but the thing is, is that it's very detached, and that's cold to people. But if you feel it and get into understanding and, and survive the uh, the uh, chill of, of it, yeah. the chill, and move into the warmth that they're lurking, then I would tell the 60-year-olds that, that I'm indifferent to how they react, but if they interact with me, I'll spread my joy as much as possible. But that'll include pissing them off. I mean, when I show up, I'm 87 years old. I look like I'm 45 or something. That bothers people who are 80. I get flack all the time. I don't tell people my age. Right, you know? exactly. It's not a problem. <laughs> yes. I mean, just in the local grocery store, if they know about that. If I come in, I get taunted. You know what I mean? Really? So, oh, yeah. People people say, look at that guy. He's not 87, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and other people say, no, no, he's 87. I saw his birth certificate. So they get into an <laughs> argument. And I just oh, no. Yeah. So, but, the, but the thing is, look at this. If you know the universe doesn't care, Ion was telling somebody who was puzzled by this. He says, go down the Caribbean and be an alcoholic. Follow your bliss. It's no problem. Do whatever you want to do. It's like liberating everybody. You don't, it, you, and you don't have to feel guilty about anything. No total guilt. This is going to really anger the Pope and the Catholic Church and all that Christian guilt. This is the most anarchistic, radical stuff, which you're going to hear next um, next Wednesday on uh, on this show, on Evan's show. You'll hear this. Yeah, but what if that means that some murdering bastard then is going to like feel like going out and taking an, an innocent life? I mean, you know, I mean... Uh, I just talked about that. Yeah, uh, I bet. Here, here, there's two points. First, the Everine said that uh, those that murder somebody, when the murdered, they go to the astral plane first, or the non-physical... The murderer eventually goes to non-physical. When the murdered meets the murderer, they shake hands. Because from that perspective, when you're there in the astral plane, you just come into this plane to mix it up and have an experience. And on, from the astral perspective, it doesn't matter what experience you had. You only feel the relevance or shock of it when you're doing it. You have a judgment about it. But when you get the physical, hey, great, that was great. What do we do next? Well, let's go down and... Let's see if we can get one million people to kill themselves at the same time. Okay, we'll get this maniac, Paul Pot, and he'll be a great man, and he'll get us all inspired, and he'll do it to us. Yee-hoo. He's probably got the, he's probably in the same Hall of Fame on the Astro Plane, Paul Pot, because he gave everybody such a neat, a unique experience. And not only that, it's televised and recorded in the chip landscape, and can be circulated for eternity, right? In our, re- in our uh, the music and television archives in New York City. All footage is saved now. Okay, so I'm tending to the uh, rant level here. But no, 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 no. That what you were talking about is the truth will set you free after it pisses you off. And yes. also, the whole coldness. There is something very uh, cold in that. And boy, if the Second Amendment is needed, it's needed right now after that statement. I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs>